എന്തൊക്കെയുണ്ടാടോ വിശേഷങ്ങള് സുഖമായിട്ടിരിക്കണോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു നല്ല നാടൻ സ്വീഡൻ അൺകട്ട് അൺഎഡിറ്റഡ് റാജി ഓൾസോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അൺലീസ് ദ ഗോഡ് ഇൻ യൂ സീരീസ് ഡേ സിക്സ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി ഡേ സിക്സ് ലുക്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഡെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ടു ദാറ്റ് ഫോം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഇസ് ഹു ഇസ് വേർഷിപ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഡേ സിക്സ് Mata Katyayani. So this story goes like this. There was once a sage called as Katyayana. He was a great devotee of the Durga Devi. He has always wanted Durga Devi as his, as his daughter. <laughs> Now, at the same time, there was an Asura Katyayana. whose name was Mahishasura. He got a boon and became the most powerful being on earth of that time. He defeated the devas, devtas and everyone and he was torturing the people in the world, in the earth, the human beings. It continued and then everybody started praying. he was causing issues hurdles for the munis the sages to perform their daily pujas it is at that point in time that sage katyayana was immensely praying to the goddess to end the reign of mahishasura and then she was born as his daughter and hence This goddess is named as Katyayani, the daughter of Katyayana, the sage. Now, again, she was in that, we have that small huts where these uh, sages reside. So she was uh, just sitting over there and then Mahishasura's soldiers saw her and then went back to Mahishasura stating that there is a very beautiful lady out there who is perfect for you as your wife. You are the only one who should get her. And then Mahishasura sent her, sent his soldier in chief, that is Dundubi, to this goddess and proposed to her. And then the goddess said that she can only marry a man who defeats her in the war. Dundubi went back and told the same to Mahishasura. Mahishasura was so happy. It is a sage daughter. What is the big deal? Anybody can defeat. He is the greatest warrior of all times. And then there held a very big war between Mahishasura and goddess Katyayani. wherein she did defeat him and managed to kill him as well so this is the story behind the day 6 form of devi durga ma katyayani ma katyayani is the warrior form of goddess durga she was born to kill mahishasura she did fought a war and defeated and killed him as well so this shows that there is a warrior in every other woman you are a warrior in yourself that is what this form of goddess durga teaches you and also one more thing we can interpret it like this there was a marriage proposal that came to her and she refused stating that she wanted to test him or rather she wanted to know more about him or she wanted to know if he can defeat her she said a no and then he came to her for the war that is the same we have a lot of issues in our state in our country wherein when a lady when a girl says a no she has to face a lot of difficulties she faces acid attack she is threatened to be killed raped or whatever it is it's your right to say a no because you have a warrior in yourself you will be able to fight the evils of this world you are a warrior 
right so this is the look that i have created i'll show you in detail how this warrior drape is done so for that i have taken a sana silk sari then i have a black belt this is a crop top from h&m it has silver dots polka dot kind of silver dots in it then i have very minimal jewelry i have a star i have two rings so this one we have already seen this ring this is the uh, gayatri mantra ring and this is a new one which is not which i have not worn before so this is a peacock ring right this earring also yeah and then i have made a ponytail and then this one if you see i'll show you this in detail in the video as well i hope you are able to see it so this is again a <laughs> neck piece of mine but i thought something right it should not be very nothing at all that kind of a feeling so i put this i'll show you how this looks as a neck piece and then i'll show you how i've arranged it in my hair as well so it's a regular ponytail that i've made that is it so this is how i have curated this look and this uh, drape of sari is known as warrior drape it's a warrior princess drape so i'll show you how to drape this as well so okay now come with me to see how to drape this sari and then we'll click some pictures and come back soon come on for warrior sari drape we will pleat the sari from both the ends and then we will secure it in our both the shoulders we will bring the star sari from our back side we'll bring it around and then we'll secure it using a safety pin once we have secured it we will arrange the pleats accordingly and then for the portion of uh, sari which is available in the back side the extra portions we will pleat it again and we will insert in the back side we'll tuck it using a pin also we'll secure it using a pin so this is how we do the warrior drape
welcome back so now that you have seen how I, ha how I have draped this warrior draped sari and then you have seen the pictures and videos as well let me know by your comments how you like this look so again a final glimpse just a start two rings one hair accessory that is a that's a neck piece only which I have made as a hair accessory, ponytail, then a very thick black leather belt, crop top from H&M and then this Sana silk sari. Also I forgot, I have also worn a, this pant that is a leather pant again from H&M which I have worn. So yes, so this is how I have curated this look. So the only thing that I want you to know. Probably there is something called as Goddess Kartyayini is also worshipped so that you get a very good life partner. That is also there where she is also uh, Mahishasura Mardini. She is also known as Mahishasura Mardini. But in today's world it's not important or rather it is, it is probably second, third, fourth, fifth in that fifth level. That girl should think about getting married or getting settled or think about getting a man or pray for getting a man. If you are capable enough, the first thing, the first priority for girls in this world today is that you should be capable enough. You should be educated. You should be literate. I don't say that you should be an engineer, you should be a doctor. No, you should be self-sufficient. You can be an artist. You can be anyone. But then you should be independent. You should be self-sufficient. You should be very powerful so that you can take your decisions yourself and maintain or sustain by it. And then it is after some two, three, four, five, <laughs> that is the priority order in which I would want to see this, that you should get a man to marry, the perfect man to marry. I have a daughter. And this is the only thing I want for her. She should be independent. She should be self-sufficient. She should be educated or good at at least one of the things. If not an engineer or doctor, she should be an artist. She, she can be a model, whatever it is, whatever she likes to. But the only important thing for me is she should be independent and capable of making her own decisions. When I mean independent, it is also about her thoughts as well as her financial situations. So you should be independent in both. You should have an independent thought. You should not think that what the other person will think. No, there is no requirement so. At the same time, you should be able to pay your bills as well. You do not need a husband or your father to pay for your bills or your brother even. No. So that is what I want for my daughter and I would advocate it to everyone else as well. That is the first thing that you should have. And then, yeah, you can get married if you want. <laughs> right. So this is what this form of goddess teaches you. Very radical. I'm going to close my channel very soon, I think, <laughs> because of these thoughts. <laughs> But yes, this is what I think. Let me know what you think as well. Right. So I hope you have liked this video. If yes, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done it. Please share this content with your friends, family and whoever it is. And do support. I'll see you with my next three looks very, very soon. Until then. Ta-da! Bye-bye!